Yo, what's up guys? Arbsim here, and welcome back to another episode of Reapism's Universe. And right now, we're taking on some of these pigmen for gold, with, for no reason, absolutely. For some reason, yesterday, when I was playing a little bit after last episode, I had the intention of wanting to farm gold from these guys. Still don't know why. It, The world may never know kind of thing, but... um. Yeah, welcome back, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed last episode. A lot of work went into that one. I had to uh, sit down and make two montage parts, which wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not like the most time-consuming thing that I do, but it it is. It it was um, a little bit more, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. <coughs> Anyways, guys, today we're going to be working on a few things, and I will be discussing those afterwards, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, and that first thing is I'm going to clear out this entire grass area until it's leveled with this one. And maybe the same on this side. So, I will see you then. Just make sure you remember that it's two steps below instead of one to get down to the level that we're on. So just keep that in mind and you'll see how much box I'll have after this. So, I will see you then. Alright guys, I'm back and um... Yeah, um, okay, uh, it turns out that took 45 minutes of instant mining to clear this little segment out, and now it's raining. Yeah, guys, um, three night cycles I went through, including day, so about 45 minutes. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what I made for this project, but my god, it's going to take forever. Man, all right, this all the dirt, like, this is all I had, like, from, like, this dirt on is what I got from all of that. I think three trips I went, but, um, there's other chests I filled up down the line here. Um... Oh, here we go. And there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Also, um, I made this new armor here. I made it brand new with the books that we had. And I did more book enchantment. I'm going to take you back to the end, all right? I'll, be, I'll see you there. Alrighty, guys. We are here back at the end. And, yeah. Okay. So, I wanted to showcase some book enchantments, correct? Well, we used about a stack and whatever else we had there. And I was enchanting that over the past few days without showcasing it. I actually started enchanting in uh, episode 26. Uh, but, um, you know, now it's episode 29. And we are, you know, we're moving on. And it's been a while. And, yep. Okay, let's get on with it. Alright, I'm going to tell you right now, look at that. Two more Silk Touch right there. A lot more unbreaking is w really what I wanted. I was just doing it for unbreaking. And you wouldn't believe what else we have. Fortune 2 right there. And another Silk Touch. So three in total. And we're, I know I got a Fortune 3. What was that? That was like the best part. Huh. Well, I know Silk Touch, and I have four Silk Touch books, but the, you know, having Fortune, there it is, Fortune 3. You know, having that with you is really, really beneficial. I mean, I could Fortune 3, like, Shears, for example, have Infinite Fortune 3 on, like, pumpkins and stuff like that. Not pumpkins, like, melons and stuff like that. It'd actually work infinitely. And a Fortune 3 would work on tall grass, stuff like that. Um, that's breakable by hands and may yield stuff like that, the outcome. But um, look at this. I brought more stuff here so I could, um, you know, make the picks and stuff, the shovels, the axes. And, yeah, that's essentially it. Over here is some of the things from the pigmen. And I'll just take that back. And we're going to get started on something else this episode. So I'll see you back at base. All right, guys. Before I go back, I am actually going to repair this armor here. And before I do that, I wanted to address something. Like, you see, like, watch. Like, all this, 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 
this, and this, and a ton more that I used. Uh, yeah, they're all gone from here. They're all on the left. All the enchanting. Um, all the picks, all the everything I ever enchanted. It's a lot. It's like a crazy amount, right? And what's really the rub is that it feels slow. This is the fastest experience farm you could ever get uh, in terms of vanilla Minecraft. I mean, we we're, Enderman is the best way to get experience the fastest. And as soon as they spawn, they fall down to a one hit. And there's the most amount of spawn pads. Like, you could raise that to 256, but you're not going to get any more spawns because what happens is the way the anvil format works is it's going to check for more spawns in that chunk, and it's kind of separated from 0 to 128 to 129 to 256. It checks uh, between those, and the more checking it does, the slower mobs spawn. And... I'm pretty sure that's how it works, and yeah, that's basically what's been going on. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn this off, whack a bit, and then let's see how much levels it costs. But you know, it's it's fast, it's fast. But like when you do long-term enchanting, like I do, like like I usually bounce around every two hours if playing on the world. I'll go enchant 15 more books. That's usually how I do it. And after that, I just like essentially, I take the 15 books and I line it up in my inventory like this like something like this and I do that and once like I leave all the ender pearls on the floor I never really pick it up unless um I'm gonna record because when I record and having those on the floor I I have this like kind of feeling to pick it up and it's really annoying so I just leave it off camera kind of thing like I see all these ender pearls and I want to pick it up like I never like to leave items on the floor like have you ever played like a RPG or a role playing game or that that's what RPG stands for wow Anthony look what I did um like huh like massive multiplayer online games stuff like that MMORs uh Essentially, you when you get loot from that a specific area, you don't want to ever, and I mean ever, leave it there because that's wasting, right? That's kind of that's kind of how I feel here on Minecraft. So, anyways, guys, sorry about that ramble. I'll get back to enchanting or repairing, I should say, the armor, and I'll see you back in a bit. All right, guys, I am back and. Right now, from all the ender pearls I was using to repair this armor, um, I'm just the ones that I had in my inventory. I'm just gonna go back and refill these stations that I have lying around here, and I only have a few, but I wanted to tell you guys something. These boots right here. It took 38 levels for two uh, leather, and then since I have this kind of OCD where I see that bar. It was basically brand new. It was like two armor points off from being perfect. Or durability. Two durability points off. And of course me being me. I wanted to get it all the way. So I don't see that bar. Have a fully repaired item. It took 78 levels. Wait. No. That's wrong math. It's 38 plus 34. Or 36. 70... That would be 74 if it was 36 and 38, right? Yeah, yep. And um, that's a lot. That took way more time than I expected. Uh, I was waiting and waiting. I'm like, when am I going to be able to record the next segment? Like, how long is this going to really take? And it actually turns out it's kind of time-consuming uh, just to repair that. And this armor breaks really fast. Because it's protection for and it's leather. So I think you'll use two armor points for every damage you take. Um, because it's protection for. It's sacrificing another armor point to uh, to like basically absorb the damage. Absorb, sorry. And yeah, that kind of demotivated me slightly to make leather armor and just keep it like this. 
I know, I know. It, it's really nice though. Like it looks really good. This is you can't repair that. That we we discussed this before. That that uh, leather cap right there is just completely immune to repairing. It it will never repair. You can't legit. So that's why I'm probably never gonna use it unless miraculously I decide that I need to, which I I don't know why I would, but it could happen. The feature holds the answer, of course, and also what the feature holds is the next episodes, and uh, in terms of next episodes, the base in particular, I want to talk a bit about that, and I want to tell you guys something. Um, I'm really going to hold off from the base, because the base is something big, and it's not like it has to be all done in one episode, of course that's not the case, but in terms of just the starting area the starting area of the base has is the base and the way i want to get in and out is the biggest factor so i need to stand around and contemplate over the next few episodes and really see what i really want to do and over there we have a big tree on a mountain or on a floating mountain mountain <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but anyways yep that's been the case and yeah this is some pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff we've been talking about lately so anyways guys i'm not sure what to do this episode i came on i this is what i always do guys i always come on start recording without knowing what to do and just start off with whatever i was doing previously because i always have this intent of uh making something for an episode or making an episode in general like i always feel like i have to even though i do this for a hobby i don't i don't make money off of this i don't do any of that um i'm not a partner if that's what you guys are wondering like i am but i'm not uh the way i generalize a partner is making money off of youtube and i don't do that i am a partner in the fact that i have thumbnails and other youtube features enabled uh but I'm not a partner, partner, partner. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically the case here. Anyways, guys, um, I think I want to make this a little bit of a talky episode so I could get this out on Monday and then record another one possibly on Monday and get the map done. So, yep, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to just have a talky episode, so... I'm sorry about that guys. I know what I know what you're thinking, but we're we're gonna explore in the meantime, so you know I guess we'll this will be an explore exploration episode slash um hmm, what would be the other terminology or talkie episode, there you go. So talkie slash exploration video and we haven't been this way yet. I'm very sure of it. Uh let me see if the chunks are loading slow. Yep. Alright, this is new chunks right here. Oh, man. Wow, I never knew this area. Yeah, I'd never been here. So let's just continue to look around. Okay, a sugar cane there. Nice lake. Um, oh, a plains biome. Really? Wow, this close. This is pretty cool. All right, so back to the talkiness as we explore this new terrain. Um, whoa. What? A village? One sec, guys. I, I can't... Once I see a village or any other structure that's pretty close to my base, it's going to it's gonna conflict with my speaking. So, give me a sec, guys. It's a very small village. Wait, what? what? <gasps> we came here before? Why is this new to me? <gasps> oh my god, do you guys remember this? What? We've been here before. That's so weird. Huh? What? That is some crazy stuff. I don't remember coming here, but I do remember placing the torches in uh, one of these areas. Wow, that is really, really fascinating. Wow, I kind of want to put that back as a mark, or maybe, maybe like some ender pearls. Maybe that will help. Uh, let me do that actually. Just as a way to get back from wherever I was exploring. 
and put the bow in there. And dude, this is amazing. What? I I didn't not think in a million years I would run into this. Wow. Funny how life works, huh? Oh, you could say that again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll put carrots in here and then the torches back in there. Because, yeah, I don't want to alter that. So watch, in another 20-something episodes, we'll be back here. <laughs> probably discovering something new. Well, suppose quote-unquote new. Yeah, so we're going to keep exploring because... Wow, that's fascinating. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the title of the video right now, like nostalgic or something, like, something nostalgic in the title. Uh, like you know, actually using the word nostalgic. Actually, that's what I've been kind of meaning. But um, oh, I know what this is. I remember going over here. This is when I was trying to find the swamp one episode, and we found the jungle temple instead. And if you look closely from over here, you'll see like a mountain peak, but I don't think it'll load for us that quick. I want to get moving on. I want to move on here. So anyways, what I was saying is I want to finish the map of Ferocious Magma in particular. I want to finish that map and um, currently third intersection, if you're wondering. And I started an area and... Uh, this area is completely new to you guys. You you don't know what it is because I haven't showed it to you guys yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to live stream it anymore to be quite honest. But there is something that I would live stream and record. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a Castle Crashers LP. Now it is one of my favorite games honestly. Including you know obviously being Minecraft as well but. A game other than Minecraft that I really enjoy is Castle Crashers. It's it's kind of violent, but there's no like, it's rated T basically. Like um, it's not like mature or anything. Uh, I probably gave it a wrong connotation just by starting off describing the game like that. But it's a 2D game and it's really really fun. Um, I really want to do an LP, guys. May I please do it? Will you guys watch it? I really hope so, because I want to put a lot of time and effort into that series as well, because, um, you know, Minecraft is one of my favorite games as well, and to be playing it constantly every day kind of gets me in a f mood where I want to do a talkie episode, and that's not really how I wanted this series to be. I wanted this series to be a fully industrial series, and it kind of it's kind of hard when you play the game every day and to constantly come up with a new idea every single episode uh... i know some people could do it like etho he is absolutely monumental the way he does his stuff is absolutely fantastic and i should probably be saying his entire youtube channel ethos lab there you go he is a big inspiration for this series actually if you didn't know uh... a lot of people are actually and the reason being I say this is because Etho, the way he does his videos is he, you know, he has three Minecraft series. There's Minecraft, the server. Then there's FTB, a Minecraft server. So there's two servers. And then there's his LP world. And he has about 300 or so Minecraft videos uh, relating to Minecraft and um, his LP combined. About 300, maybe more. And... That's just Minecraft itself, then he has FTV, and he comes up with these new things to do so, like, so, like, interesting every single day. Like, there's an episode, and it's just, it's something that I can't achieve, so that's basically what I'm saying. Uh, I would really like it if I was able to achieve such things, but in all honesty, when am I going to see that happening? Uh, it's the matter of the fact that some people like me need a little bit of a break and maybe a new series that other people enjoy like you guys will inspire me so I hope that was um, very uh, I hope I uh, convinced you guys uh, I promise you guys it is gonna be somewhat cut it I mean like what happens is if when you die you start to the last checkpoint so what I might do to wire the show up uh, so it's like industrial uh, is to cut up the the wait time and stuff like that. So I think that's what I might do. Uh, but other than that, we've been exploring terrain here for a while. And um, just 
this has been a nice talky episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not even done here yet, actually, so it's okay. Keep watching. Keep uh, listening, if you will. Uh, ooh. Mm -mm. He's not going to know. Oh, no, he does know. on the water. There you go. Now he's not aggro at me anymore. Well, theoretically speaking, I think he shouldn't. Okay. Um, what's the next topic? So that was one series I wanted to do, like, actually genuinely really wanted to do, like, something that I've been craving to actually do. It's that bad. And look at this terrain, guys. Oh, man. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. This is some pretty cool stuff, man. And let's keep exploring. This is crazy. Wow. Look at this L nice little outlook. Let me write let me see the coordinates for this area. There we go. Um oh my god, look at this formation. Right here would be the hardest rock ever in real life because uh, the generally the rock or bedrock under a mountain is the hardest rock, at, you know, than like let's say like the bedrock of a plains area in the real world. I'm talking about the real world, not Minecraft. But like I was using Minecraft to get that information, sort of. Not really no. What am I saying? I don't know. Um but I know what I'm saying now and <laughs> what I'm saying now is um I hope you guys enjoyed the talkiness and I did have a few other things to say, but I think we might run out of time. I'll actually go check the episode time, and I'll see you back once that's finished. So far, it's been around 22 minutes, and I think I could squeeze it in. Um, so back to the Castle Crashers and Ferocious Magma and live streaming in general, the things we've been talking about. Let me sum it up here. Would you like to see a Castle Crashers LP, something that I generally want to do? I know you guys are down for my happiness. I really do appreciate that. It really means a lot to me. But um, what I'm really interested in, are you going to really like the the LP? Uh, so that's, that's my uh, question to you guys. Secondly, the map. Uh, so far, Ferocious Magma has been taking a bit of a hiatus. Slightly, not really. I've, I've obviously been working on it, on it today, but in terms of like... Uh, I'm slowing down on like these ideas, but um, I've been building a lot of LP friendly things, improving areas, making it more LP friendly, funner, more rewarding, and that's really my goal here as a map maker to make a make an area worthwhile. Um, so something that you could look back and remember. And the point of me making hard maps like that is not to piss you off, not to make you rage, not to do any of that stuff actually. It's really when you beat the area, you will feel so proud of yourself that you will you will reward yourself. You'll feel better about yourself. You will tell everybody that you beat that area. If you're making an LP you like people will know you beat that area. And it's it's a more rewarding kind of thing. And just the fun that I have in it so far making it is really, really awesome. I don't make money on these maps either. I put so much time into it. Uh, believe me guys, I do all of this for a hobby. Uh, as, you know, as cheesy as it sounds, I know a lot of people do YouTube for the money in it only. They don't really care too much about their subscribers. But, I told you guys, I've been through a lot and I know how it feels when you first hear stuff like that about someone you really care about. Like, you guys really seem to care about me. And I would hate to see that me doing something not really in for you guys. It it would hurt me personally because the way that I see it to other people, um, it's it's really it really hurts you uh, badly. So I wouldn't want that to happen to you guys. So... Yeah, I truly love you guys. Thank you so much for watching me here. And um, back to the live streaming. There is one game that I might live stream, and that is Call of Duty, which is kind of ironic. Uh, or I could live stream Limbo or something like that. Some some of these games I don't really play. Maybe Terraria. I don't know. I don't really like the game too much, but it's something that I could do maybe uh, on some days. Just to put up some footage for you guys. And it's something that's easy to do. 
So look at us here. We're in something that I totally don't even know about. And what is that? We went like our base is positive or negative 500 uh positive 300 and look how far we are now. And we're still rendering chunks. Um oh oh one more thing before we go. World downloads. That is something that I wanted to talk about. We're going to wait a bit for the next world download and I need to find a better uh file hosting service. Maybe Google could I do the trick but um the thing is is that my world probably as I speak it's probably about 80 megabytes as of right now and it's getting to a point where it's really difficult to keep uploading every so often because it takes so long um in terms of videos as well uh, I know I could upload both at the same time but it does impair uploading speed and it really does like it's actually you can actually see the difference as you're uploading and you see you see the numbers decrease with it and the time uh, increase of how long it'll take to upload uh, so it's kinda discouraging and it's a bit impractical at the same time anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a comment it's gonna take me a while to get back home but you know whatever and I will see you then so be right back for now all right, guys. I'm back here with no comments. Um, I was looking back, and it was just general comments about some audio things. Um, I'm falling into a habit of recording right after an upload, and it's really not giving you time to comment. So probably next episode I'll get your comments. And yeah, it's really pulling back the stuff. So I'm sorry about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so I'm sorry about that once again. Uh. I do apologize, but you can look forward to double comments next episode because I usually will do that in return. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Do you know that outro? Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys.